Okay, hello there mechaniacs. This is Jeff Wooten and in this video we are going to demonstrate for you the five-point bridge and Yoshi will be doing the bridge for us. Thank you Yoshi because she is really good at this and I'm going to speak just a bit on the benefits of bridging. Basically there are two types of bridges. One where your head is not on the ground and the other where your head is on the ground. Both types of bridges are extremely beneficial for you, for all of us. The five point bridge, which is a version where your head is on the ground, is the one we're going to demonstrate today in this particular video. The benefits of bridging, first of all, consider this. Most adults, most people, especially if you are a professional, you tend to sit an awful lot, probably hours and hours every day in front of a computer or in front of a TV, working for hours, rounding, flexing forward. When you sit, your hip flexors, namely the iliopsoas, the muscles which connect at your lumbar spine, um, and also other hip flexors, they tend to shorten and stiffen because you sit in the same hip flexed position for hours and hours. Your spine tends to round forward when you're sitting a lot. The shoulders round forward. So the chest muscles begin to shorten and tighten as well. The muscles in the front of the neck also become very, very tight. And you have what's called tight weakness throughout your body. Not only is the spine in jeopardy, but also the shoulder girdle, what's called the glenohumeral joints the rotator cuff muscles start to get stiff. There's a lot of bad stuff that happens on the order of stiffness when you sit for hours and hours and hours. Now, here's my question for you. How much do you do the opposite? How much do you arch your back? And I mean really arch. In other words, how much do you bridge? Well, how much do you bridge? Okay, I take your silence to mean you bridge very little. And probably it is true. If you are an adult, you don't spend very much time bridging. Adults just don't do that. Well, I recommend that all adults bridge on a regular basis. In particular, the five point bridge, what you are about to see, not only counteracts the flexion of the hips by working the hip extensors, which means your glutes, in particular your gluteus maximus, but also your spinal extensors. It works the back muscles like crazy. Very, very important. But you'll see the shoulders, the chest, the neck, everything gets involved here. So Yoshi starts to get into it now. The first thing is you have to adjust your ponytail. Very important. Now, palms on the ground, coming up onto the top of the head, right here. Notice the neck muscles, the front of the neck. Those muscles have to simultaneously stretch and flex, just as do the shoulder girdle muscles. Notice the chest muscles. Everything is opening up. Very, very important. So we continue, adjust the hands. At this point, you get up onto your toes and walk the toes as close to your head as you can. Full hyperextension of the entire spine, starting at the cervical spine, the neck, down through the thoracic spine and lumbar spine. The glutes are flexing hard to extend the hips up on her toes, working the foot muscles and joints. Notice the wrists. The wrists are hyperextending as well. Hmm. Carpal tunnel syndrome avoidance. Just a thought. Also, as she continues bridging up and over, the neck muscles get a very good stretch and the flexing. Big time bridging. Now keep in mind, as we've talked about many times before, your fascia, the connective tissue, which binds every aspect of your body, it starts at your skin and it is continuous. It goes throughout your body, down into the muscles, penetrating the muscles into the internal organs, your viscera. So whenever you stretch your body, whenever you stretch your joints, you're also pulling on the fascia which pulls on the internal organs, stretching the viscera big time. This is really big, guys. 
So the digestive system gets a really good workout when you stretch like this. And she's also breathing deeply down into her belly. The diaphragm pulls down. So there's a lot of good stuff going on here. So the idea, she arches for a few breaths. And then the idea is to come back to the top of her head just for a pause and then bridging even more, getting the nose to the mat. Look at that, that's beautiful. The idea is to get as much of a hyperextension as she can. The wrists are hyperextending. The neck muscles on the front really working well. Avoiding turkey neck. That's the idea. You have to avoid turkey neck by toning the muscles in the neck all the way through the chest and shoulders, working down. The glutes are flexing hard, trust me. The thighs are working hard. Every muscle and joint, pretty much from the top of the head all the way to the tips of the toes are getting a great workout. So you hold this for a few breaths. After a few breaths of holding it, the idea is to walk the feet away from the body and come on down. Beautiful, Yoshi, thank you. That is the five point bridge and that is how it's done. Thank you guys. See you next time.